so before Tuesday, and a lot of things that I've seen and a lot of people have done some really clever and really funny things about all of this subject, but I'm just like, I'm not laughing right now because I think it's really scary. Um, the election that's coming up, really, really scary. Terrifying. Actually, didn't, you know, the more you know, the scarier it gets. Um, before Tuesday. Okay, the economy. Um, the economy was destroyed by the GOP for eight years. Um, and it left a lot of people in a lot of trouble. And it's still going on. The economy is recovering. But it's so confusing and weird that the GOP can destroy the economy. I, I almost think they threw the election in 2008 because <laughs> they didn't want to be left with what they knew that they couldn't fix, and they did it. Um, Obama has been doing everything he can to restore the economy, and, it, and it's getting better, and it continues to get better, and it continues to get better. But then the things that Obama was doing to make it get better even faster the GOP party said early on that their number one goal was to make sure that Obama was a one-term president. That was their goal. So they continued to block everything Obama was doing to improve the economy, to help people, because their goal was to make sure Obama was a one-term president. I, I, it's, it's so disheartening to let people continue to hurt and continue to be in such economic strife because their goal is for Obama to be a one-term president. Just that. So they're, they were voting against things to help the economy, the GOP was, just to make sure that Obama didn't get another term. That, that is cruel and crazy. And now to come out now, like, we're, we're the ones with the answer. No, the GOP already started this to begin with and then continue to let people hurt even more by your priority being making sure Obama's a one-term president. That's their words, that's what they said. Um, just to try to look at, make their party look better even though people are suffering. It's, it's, and to now want to be reelected again with, this, with the same uh, policies that got us into this mess to begin with is crazy and it's sad. There's this Bible verse that says, what profits someone if they gain the entire world but they lose their soul? If anyone had the, uh, the ability to wave a magic wand and fix the economy, then we are left with someone's soul. No one has that ability, especially if you're going to block every bit of legislation that's trying to help people. But say they did, then you're left with the soul, the soul of this country, my country. And what I am in my lifetime, I've never been up against someone who is literally running on platforms to take people's rights away from them. This is America, you know? It's like, yeah, the country has had to evolve in a lot of ways to make ourselves better and stronger and, and more about civil rights and equal rights, but literally, uh, um, the GOP is running on platforms to take people's civil rights and equal rights away from them. They are running a against uh, women the, the, to take away women's health care rights, to take away women's right to choose, to take, they voted against equal pay for women. That, I'm so used to fighting for ever, other people's rights, but as a female, I'm like, whoa, you know, this is crazy. And I, I am fortunate and blessed enough to have really excellent health insurance, but other women out there, they don't. And our young females around us, they don't either. And they, they need the, the exact health care that's out there that, that the GOP party has said they're going to cancel right, right upon going in office. And that, that is not only contraception. That is also cervical cancer screenings, mammograms, all of that. You know, there's a bunch of guys out there that are telling women that they know how to make decisions for my body and every female body's out there, which is... Like, and they really were running on that platform. Suddenly, I think they realized that we have the right to vote. We actually do have the right to vote, women do. So I think 
they have been not been talking about that lately, but it's still a part of their program to shut down health care for women. And, of course, they voted against equal pay for women. It doesn't make any sense. Um, women, this is going to sound so 1950s, but I feel like we're dealing with that and even moving into more retrograde. But if your male pastor and your male husband person is telling you to vote against your own rights, just remember, it's confidential when you go in that booth. Don't vote against your own rights. Don't vote against my rights, please. You're a female, you know? Nobody knows what you write down in there. Obama has been fighting for women's rights since the day he went into office for equal pay, for women's health care. Don't let any guy try to talk you into voting against your own rights or my rights and our, our younger girls among us that really need health care. And then there's the civil rights of the LGBT community, which has made more strides in the last four years with Obama than has ever been made before. And we have the GOP party, the main dude, and then his little sidekick. The sidekick has been speaking at certified hate groups Certified hate groups, those have been called hate groups, speaking at their rallies um, against civil rights. And they are going, they have said that they are going to work to take away whatever rights have been gained by the LGBT community. You don't have to be LGBT, I'm not, to understand that civil rights mean we either have them or we don't, you know. So we're, we're dealing with, I mean, it is, it's unbelievable. And when I, I, I can't, yeah, it, it's shocking that these people, not, not only, I mean, this is, a, this is an entire platform on two things. The economy, they are financed by the richest 1%, less than 1% of people in this country that are paying billions of dollars in a super PAC. Why? Because they want to preserve their lower tax percentage. So the 1% gives a lower tax percentage than the 99%. That just means the middle class and the underclass are, that's, that's it. You're going to pay a higher tax percentage than 1%. That's what the GOP wants. They're being financed by the other billionaires. They've got tons of money because of that. That's also one of the reasons why we didn't get any cooperation to try to get us out of this economic nightmare because they want to preserve a lower tax percentage for the rich. And the other part is equally as terrifying. They want to take away rights of women and rights of LGBT and rights of other Americans. My fellow Americans, before Tuesday, please <laughs> think.